This is a young male who suffered a penetrating injury and reported to us a few days later. You can see that the wound edges are slightly edematous and in a sort of a Z-shaped pattern. And if you look carefully in the periphery of the AC, there is a hair follicle which has got entrapped, entrapped within the anterior chamber. So initially, I am going to handle the corneal tear. He has come a few days later, so the edema itself has sort of semi-sealed the wound, but you cannot uh, leave this wound unsutured, as the seal is positive on pressure. So initially, I am going about somewhere close to the center, taking short bites on either side. And look at the direction of my sutures. They are all running tangential to the wound. Now as you can see, as I was suturing that, you could see a small apex like thing just next to that and that will be a little difficult to suture. So, it is in a triangle form and hence it will fish mouth in the center, hence I am using a first string suture to close that central gap formed by this triangulated tear. And this is important. If you try to suture that apex, you will just start eating away into the tissue. It will just cheese wire through it. So better go on all sides and put in a purse string suture to healthier part of the tissue. The rest of the wound is pretty standard. Always make sure you suture the periphery as well. That's the three knots, then I I push it to one side and then put two knots and a single knot. It's not been shown in the video, but that's what I do. I have removed one of the sutures because I'm not very happy with it. And I go ahead and place another one in its place. The suture should not be excessively tight, nor should be excessively loose. A loose suture can promote infection by acting as an idus. And a tight suture will hamper healing of the corneal edges. Always bury your knots and I think this will be my final suture. If the AC keeps shallowing, it's a good idea to either fill in it fill it in with BSS or with air and then suture. However, I didn't have problem with this one. So I just went ahead and sutured. I am now put, uh, went in with my 2.8 millimeter uh, keratome. As I told you earlier, I have to take out the hair follicle. Now watch, I have put in some viscoelastic 
and there you can see in the magnified view the hair follicle. Put in my 2.8 millimeter keratome incision, I put in a side port, put in pilocarpin, you can see the peaking of the pupil, that is where the uveal tissue is incarcerated in the wound and I have released it with my Sensky hook. Then under HPMC, I very very carefully put in my uthrata forceps and remove the hair follicle. I put in pilocarpin just to save, uh, to protect the crystalline lens from inadvertent damage. Once I have removed the hair follicle, I go in with my Simcoe cannula and remove all the HPMC from within the chamber. Put in an intraocular antibiotic and some air as well. Thank you for watching.